Denise and Marianne, Betty. Can hear Welcome you. Welcome to class. Awesome. Thanks for joining me. This will be really nice. It's like a, like a nice good morning to get a good stretch in. Has anybody tried walking in your house, like doing a walking thing inside your house? I was wondering if anyone's done that yet. I just read about that. Like where people are like, like in place, Let's check into that. Have to give that a shot. Say it again. So I'll have to give that a shot. Yeah, it's like, and so like today it's rainy and like hard to get outside or cold. Like that's a whole nother, a whole other world. It's walking in place. Mm -hmm. I look into that myself. <laughs> Just getting yourselves moving, right? Hi, Gail. Absolutely. All right, guys, we're going to get started here. I think it's almost 10.30. I can't see my computer. It's way too far away. Okay, we're gonna give it like 30 more seconds. Good morning, Saturday. Anybody doing our AMRAP, our as many reps as possible challenge today? If you can get on, look up MBCC, whether on Facebook or I know it's on Instagram. Enter in, there's like five different exercises. I'm looking at Dana going like this. Um, as many reps as you can do of these exercises, they're explained with video and uh, just something fun to keep us all connected and moving. All right, let's get started. Good morning. So I want you guys to come down to the mat. Keep your yoga strap or beach towel close to you, please. We're just going to keep our feet out in front of us. Like hopefully the soles of my feet are pretty clean. Um, separate those toes out for me. Each one at a time, like make an intention, separating the toes, the bottom of your feet facing me and try to keep them separated for about five seconds. We're gonna take our hands and do the same thing. So we're gonna keep our hands and fingers separated for 10 full seconds. Try to release your hip flexors, kind of, Move your bottom around to sit on your sit bones. And now for the next five seconds, I want you to take your toes and make them really, really tight. And I want you to take your hands and make it really tight into a fist. So really tight. I don't think you really make your toes into a fist, but you can like bend them over, scrunch them together. Three, two, and then it's gonna release. Start to warm up. Now make it tense for three, two, one. Now release. Take your palms, face them down. We're gonna do the same thing. Three, two, one, release, and one more time. Three, two, one, and release. All right, awesome. Shake out those legs a little bit. Bring those feet together. We've done this stretch before. We're gonna try this morning to take our toes are together, our heels are together, like you're clicking your heels together like you're Dorothy and Wizard of Oz, all right? Watch. You're gonna take and separate, trying to keep your heels together, using your hips, not your knees, to rotate externally. So we're gonna go on the external rotation. For three, two, release, and now go back out. You do not have to have your heels touch, they can be separated. I'm gonna move myself feet in. Try to reach those pinky towards the ground and now come back in. And one more time, out. Trying to keep those heels together, rotating out from the hip. Pull right up through the puppet string, right through your head, standing tall, shoulders back and down, and then release and shake it out. We're gonna go in this time. First, we're gonna reach our arms up, come forward towards the toes, calves, knees, or thighs, however low you can go. It's not a race. Eye gaze to the mat, chin tucked to your chest. I want us to hold for three, K, 
two, and now release. We're gonna take feet a little outside the hips, same movement pattern. We're gonna rotate, but this time we're gonna go internal. So we're gonna take the big toes from the hips and try to internally rotate, internal rotation towards the big toes touching. They do not have to touch. Mine are not gonna touch today. Protect the knees, so really feel that through here. And release and come back in for three, two, one, release. And come one more time all the way back in for three, two, ah, one, and release. All right, shake that out. Bring those legs together in a seated position. So you can either sit with a cross leg or you can also sit here in a cobbler's pose. This time I want to take a yoga strap or that towel that you have, jump rope belt, whatever it is, or nothing. You don't have to have anything. Oh, like tie it up. We're gonna start on the ground. Watch what I'm gonna do. Try to have like a thumb, just let it hang there, or the towel, like just a very light grip. Okay, so you don't want like this, this like tight grip. We just did that just to loosen up. Right now, I just want you to think about taking it down to the ground. And when we go down to the ground this time, we're gonna bring this strap forward towards about mm, two to three feet in front of you, trying to sit and hold. We're gonna hold this stretch, shoulders away from your ears, chin tucked to your chest, kind of like you're in a downward dog position or a child's pose, but you're in a seat and you're gonna hold for a good solid 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and now on the release, I want you to slowly walk those arms back, bring ourselves right here with the strap. We're still coming up. I'm gonna rise all the way up above the head into a Y. Think about this. Please do not hyperextend your back. I want the, this four to the face. So we're about three inches forward of our face with this strap. Now, take a nice light grip. We're gonna to go to one side. So slowly come to one side, trying to reach that towards the ground, this palm, thumb facing me. And now, whoop, I'm gonna hit myself in the head with this thing. I gaze towards the ceiling, heart open to the sky. Hold, three, two, and we're gonna release back to center. Hold, and now come to the other side. We look exactly the same. Without a strap, you would just be going to the side. Hold for three, two, and on the exhale, release back up to center. We're gonna do that two more times on each side. Go one side for three, two, one. Release, follow through to the other side for three, to each time a little bit lower, follow through to the other side. If you're mirroring me, you'd be on your right side. And now we're gonna finish on the left, all the way over. And if you find yourself kind of coming here, I want you to open your heart to the sky. And come back to the middle and release. Let it go, shake it out. Hands are gonna come up. Now make an eye, okay? From this eye, I want us to rotate to the side so we should be able to move a little bit easier. Your eye gaze is gonna go a little over your shoulder. And in two, one, release back up to this eye, to the other side. for three, two, and release back to center. Now, let's take our strap again. This time we're gonna do a fold forward, but we're going to put it around the bottom of our feet, grasping one hand close, the other hand right behind it, feet, and a slight micro bend in the knee. We are going to take our 
Nose, tuck the chin and roll down forward. Now you stay here, trust my voice. If you want more of the tension, you're going to pull a little bit your toes towards you. If you want a little less, you can point your toes and not go down as far. This is your class. Lengthen and strengthen is about lengthening our muscles, yes? All of our movements and everything we're gonna do is gonna get stronger, that's the concept, when we are flexible and able to move our bodies in a fluid motion. So you know where your point is today in your body. You should still be down there. This should be fairly difficult. You kind of wanna come up because it gets uncomfortable. So hold for five more seconds. Three, two, and slowly roll back up one vertebrae at a time to sitting. All right, we're gonna do that again. This time, keep that little micro bend, meaning don't lock out the joints, okay? Don't lock out the knees. Tuck the chin and roll down. This might be a stretch you feel very, very much in your hamstrings and or glutes and or the psoas muscle, like all the muscles running through the hip and the bottom. That hip, hamstring, it all gets really tight. So I want you to hold here for five, four, two, and slowly roll back up. Head being the last thing up. One more time, we're gonna drop down. This time, switch your grip. Make the other hand go in front and the other hand going back. Deep breath in and exhale. Now, what if I told you we're gonna do three rounds of breathing here? We're gonna breathe into the nose and exhale. Two more times, inhale and exhale. Last time, inhale and exhale. And slowly come up. Awesome. All right, we're gonna go down to the ground. If this is okay for most of you guys, no issue that you can't. Otherwise, you could always put like a little bit of a pillow or something behind your neck or back if you need to. You can an amazing hip stretch. I'm gonna have to make sure my director and executive producer can see me. Your knee is bent or it's straight. Level one is bent, level two it's straight. You're gonna rest your body, neck, shoulder blades on the ground. We're going to take this for another hamstring stretch and slowly with the micro bend, pull it towards you. It does not have to touch your face. This is no race. I want it to point and flex and point and flex. For more of a stretch, you would drop this leg. Allow both sit bones, the hip bones to face the ceiling or sky if you're outside. And now we're gonna do is take this arm, the same arm that the leg is up, goes out to the side to a T. We're gonna slowly pull it, bending the elbow to the, cross the body and hold. The hip wants to come up. So try to not let it come up more than like an inch. If you can try to stick it to the ground, but make sure those shoulder blades don't come up. If they start to come up, you're going too far. Now I want us to slowly come to center, micro bend knee, reverse the grip. The other hand now goes out. The one that is with this leg is holding it and slowly and gently allow this to come out. It does not need to touch the ground. There's no trophy for getting your leg too far and overextending it. Protect yourself by keeping your hips squared to the ceiling, both shoulder blades on the ground, and that slight knee bend will allow you not to lock out. Now come through. We're gonna make like a rainbow. So we're gonna go from one side, just like we did with the other, hold three, two, one, and rainbow through, switch the grip. And now hold, three, two, one. Two more times on each side. 
hold three, two, one. As we lengthen ourselves, think about grace. Doing things with intention and a little bit of that inner beauty that comes from just doing something so simple. So if you have a chance to smile or point your toes, find something on the ceiling or a picture on your wall, life's short, enjoy. And now come to the center. Both the feet going to come in. We're gonna do another hamstring for a second. Grab through and pull towards you a little bit more. If you want to pull your bottom off the ground, like a reverse crunch, you can. Otherwise, you just can pull it towards you and hold. This deck is very intense to me. I don't know if it's anyone else, but it's me. Awesome. And now we're gonna switch, take this leg. The other leg is gonna be the one up, all right? We're going to face, remember we did before, we're gonna take the arm that is the leg out to a T, the one that's up is the arm that's out to the T, and we are slowly going to bring this across the body. Now again, level two would be to drop and allow it to come this way, bending the elbow and holding it down. Both shoulder blades on the ground, please. When ready, you're gonna come through. Get used to the movement first. Technique is everything. This, now, arm goes out, same hand, same leg, opens. And to all of you, I give you a lot of credit because to follow all that, not being even in front of me, <laughs> it's a lot to even think about when I'm doing it. So kudos to you. All right, now let's do the rotation of the rainbow. So we're gonna come through, opposite arm holding it. Three, two, one, back out to the side. Hold for three, two, one. Remind yourself when you're passing through, hips stay square to the ceiling the whole time and hold. And then rotate all the way back out. One more time, we're gonna do one on each side. You might even feel something here. That's normal. Hold three, two, one. And now release back. For three, two, center. All right, bring those legs into the center. And slowly, if you can, roll yourself up to sitting. I'm gonna take our strap this time out to the side. Bring one leg in as far as it can. Try to keep yourself square to me. Okay, so your your hips are like pointing out to me, straight forward. This leg can be out here. It can be bent if you really need to. Wherever it can sit, where it's comfortable. You're gonna take the strap. You're gonna put it on this leg that's facing out, hip, knee, ankle, all in a line, okay? So I want you to think about this time, we're gonna go down, tuck the chin to the side and hold. Oh, does anybody feel that stretch? Maybe one day we'll get to doing the split. Wouldn't that be a hoot and a holler if we were all just doing the splits like within a year? Maybe that's something I'm gonna think about checking into. Stretches for splits. I don't think I've done the splits ever since I was born. Ah! Hold. Don't go anywhere. Just when this gets uncomfortable, hold for three, two, and slowly release back up. Bending the knee a little bit, give it some, a oh, little bit of relax. And we're gonna go back into it. You only have a few minutes left. Nose, right over the knee. Drop down and hold. If this bothers your heel, you can always be with your um, heel on the mat. 
just telling you. You don't have to be in the exact same position as me. I mean, the same technique, but you know what I mean. You might feel this a little bit in your lower back. Don't be surprised by that. Don't let this hip lift up. Make yourself ground yourself and turn. Hold for three, two, release, roll back up. And last time, back down. Slowly roll back up. All right, we're gonna come, bend the knee, bring it up. We're gonna go back now. Guess what? The other side shocking. So this time I'm gonna leave this ankle um, knee. I mean, my heel. My goodness. It's still Saturday. It's still me, guys. All right. So again, we're gonna have this leg. I'm gonna shift myself a little bit so my heel can stay here. Bring this leg in. Take the strap. Wrap it through the middle of the foot. Tuck the chin, knee, right over the nose, and bend forward. We're gonna hold here for about 10 full seconds. If you think about it, try not to let your ears come up with the shoulders, right? Shoulders back and down, stay strong in the stretch. Slowly release back up. Nice deep breath, inhale, exhale. And release, we have one more time. and slowly release up. All right, let's shake out those legs. If you can, come on into a child's pose. So you're gonna take those knees right to the edge of the mat, big toes together, dropping the heels back and down into a child's pose. We're gonna come out and hold. Open up those hips for a second. Allow gravity to take over. Let those hips sit back and down. Hold for about 10 more seconds. Rest that forehead on the ground. Now slowly come up, bringing those knees under. And we are going to go to our stretching for some plantar fasciitis any tightness in the heels or in the toes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our toes tucked under and or this way. So we're either gonna be this way or we're gonna be this way. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open those toes up and we're gonna sit back like an inch or two. This is an active stretch. So you're pulling that puppet string up, you're bracing your core, tucking the hips all the way through and just hold. It's a lot to think about, isn't it? And now release, come up. And if you can, you either sit back on your feet or always, you can use a yoga block, roll up newspaper or towel, and you would just sit back and hold for 15 seconds. We're going to go through that again. We're going to come sit back up, tuck those toes under and sit back, opening up ah, the foot. Do you guys feel that? You should, thumbs up if anybody can see me. You should feel this through the feet, stretching the feet out. Not typical movement we do. And release, you can stay up here to relax or sit back, you don't have to sit back. Last time, tuck those toes under, open them up, try to make contact with every toe on the ground and do not throw your weight onto your feet, but just gently sit back or just stay like this. That's a modification and totally cool.
and release. Awesome. Now that we're here, let's get up while we're on it. Stand up, please. Feet are going to be under the hips. The first thing you want to do is just reach out into the T position. And all we're going to do is something very silly and fun. We're going to reach over as far over as you can go. I'm going to come a little bit closer. I'm going to let myself hang down. So you're kind of like in a forward fold. And what we're going to do is we're going to start to slowly allow the body to open the spine. Twist, turn. If you want to stay up, it would look like up here. It just looks like this, where you're just going side to side. Don't overthink this move. But if you can, start to bring the foot up a little bit. Start to make bigger rotations. If you want to add in some turns. Take deep breath, inhale, exhale. Now let's make our way up. So we're kind of making like an infinity, like a figure eight, all the way up to the sky. Now all the way back down. One more time. Brace the core, tuck the lower back, protect the spine, just roll up one vertebrae, take your time getting to the top, keep making that figure eight bigger, you can make it the better. Then you come all the way up, and now all the way back down. You might be getting a little bit warm, that's good. Let the hips start to turn. And if you're not laughing at this point, you should be, because this is just fun and so needed. I don't know why my body decides to crack everywhere. All right, and now hold and breathe. If you want, bring those feet together. We're gonna be in a normal forward fold, so I'll come a little bit closer, you can see. So the toes together, making four points, your heels, your pinky, big toe, both sides of the heel, and hold. Bending the knee slightly. Halfway lift. On the exhale, release. I'm going to slowly roll back all the way up to the top. Bringing the hands up. Interlock the fingers. I'm going to do a slight back bend. and release. The last thing you want to do, take that strap back up, put it underneath the heel. We're really getting good hamstring stretches here today, you guys. Just one in front of you. We only have a few minutes left. Slight knee bend. Practice checking the chin, and then rolling forward, sitting the hips back and down. So it looks like this. And you want to come over as close to those knees as possible. You might even feel this in your IT band, especially in your bottom or the hip. Can you put the foot on the ground and then can you reach it back up? And then can you place the foot on the ground and then reach it back up? The strap just allows us or a towel or whatever you're using for just an extra inch that makes a big difference. And now release, slowly roll back up. Go to the other side, looks the same. Tuck it under, set the hips back and down, which means you put it forward, but the hips sit back and down, letting the knee not go over the toe and engage. Let your head come down, let yourself relax. This might be difficult on one side more than the other. Now, can you place that foot down and then come back up? And now place that foot down, come back up. And now place that foot down. And release, all right. So you probably feel this. So our last thing we're gonna do then for some hips, I'm going to sit back in this position for a cobbler's pose. 
feet are together. Chest lifted. Sitting tall, bracing the core. Hold on to the feet at the toes if you can. Take the hips and think about bringing your knees all the way up and now pressing them away with your body. If you have to, you can do this. You can go side to side. Just try and open up that hip complex. Rocking side to side. And then reach up, bringing them toward you again. And now hold down for five, four, three, two. Release, bring it up and go back down for five, four, three, two, and release. Come back up and let's rock side to side again. So one side goes down, the other side goes down. If you can, try to think about a magnet pulling your knees at an outer part to your thigh to the ground. Each time you can touch, don't be afraid to. And now come to the center and hold. We're gonna bring our feet out, cross the legs, sit, pressing through with the forearms right above the kneecap, shoulders back and down. Just breathe. I'm gonna take a nice inhale in. Make yourself scrunched up as much as possible. It's still you see some look. And then I want you to let go and release. And now one more time. Seriously, get silly. Like life is so, so filled with moments that can make every difference. And I think these are these times. So as silly as you can make it with your face and your hands and everything in you, like all the tension you have, as tight as you can. This is like really good therapeutic. Three, two, and now release. Big smiles, hands go to the side. Let's gracefully bring ourselves back up and hold. And with everything you have in your day, make an intention to find the silly, fun little things. I might be one of them. I think I am probably one of them. I'm okay with that. <laughs> release. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll see you on Wednesday. Hopefully outside with the sun. I believe it's going to be there. So if you have any questions or feedback, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you Wednesday. Thank you. I'll stick around for a second. Thanks again.